Hi guys, time for another bargain store project. Um, I had to do a bit of an emergency tidy up the other day because we had a Halloween party. So as you can see a lot of my stuff got uh, deposited upstairs on the bed. Um, actually I've already tidied up, you might not believe it, but this is uh, a lot tidier than it was about an hour ago. Anyway, when I was going through all the stuff that I'd got piled up here, I found this propeller blade uh, that comes from a simple rubber band propelled aeroplane. In fact, it's one that I'd modified, which is why it's got R on it for reverse, so that I could use it on one of my rubber powered um, cars. It was a propeller driven car. And I was just wondering whether one of those little electric motors that I took out of the uh, lint cleaners, I think it was called lint cleaner, um, whether one of those would be powerful enough to actually turn this propeller at any speed and whether I could possibly use it for a hovercraft. Being as I haven't had much success with these hovercraft, so um, I'm going to dr drill a hole in it, mount it on one of those small electric motors, and see if it can lift a hovercraft. Right, this is the hovercraft, I think it was Bargain Store Project number 8 where I used the motors out of those lint removers. So um, I'm going to try it with just one of those motors and just see if I can get enough power from it to spin that propeller. Um, obviously that hovercraft's not big enough to have that sort of propeller on it. So I think I'll cut a hole in this pizza tray. It's got a natural sort of dish shape to it, so I'll have to have it this way up. I'd have rather had it the other way up, but that's just not going to work. I don't think, although uh, it might work. I'm going to cut most of the middle of it out, and I'm going to have to put a skirt all around it to catch the air. So it'll be one way up or the other, obviously. Um, we'll see if we can do it. Right, that's the disc cut out the middle. So, I haven't given it a lot of clearance, so I'll have to be fairly accurate with my positioning. But I'm quite happy because now that I've cut that centre section out, it does actually sit nicely that way up. So I'll have to make some brackets to come across to mount the motor right in the middle there. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the batteries. Hmm. Right, that's the motor mounted. using off cuts of the polystyrene pizza tray. Can use that plastic bag in a minute to put a skirt underneath it. I'm also going to have to put I think some feet on on the bottom because at the moment the, the propeller just touches the ground. It's also fairly badly balanced so it's going to shake around quite a lot anyway. Right, there we are, all up together. Polythene bag as the skirt. Some legs on it, just to make sure the propeller doesn't touch the desk. Um, same problem as before 
not enough power if I use these fairly dead 9 volt batteries. Um, I should think the weight of them would stop it getting off the ground anyway. So if I use my external 9 volt power supply, I think it looks quite pretty, but uh, same problem, there's not enough power there, or at least the engine isn't powerful enough unless you put a lot of um, voltage into it. I don't know if it would go any better with some of those model aeroplane electric um, batteries, um, but certainly that motor on its own that's come out of a lint remover is just not up to the job to make a decent hovercraft. Not a problem. The object of the exercise was to try to use something I bought for a, a pound or less, which was the lint remover, and make it do something it wasn't designed to do. And it is doing something it's not designed to do. It is flying a of a craft, not very successfully, but it does get off the ground if I give it enough power. And I think that one looks quite pretty as well. So there you go. I'm not sure whether to call this an a new project on its own or whether just to call it an update from Bargain Store Project, I think it was number eight. Um, I've already done one update to it, so maybe this is update number two to bargain store project number eight, I think it was. I'll put a number on it anyway, while I make the video. <laughs>